guys, welcome! It's another episode right here of NBA 2K16. And today, instead of commenting on, and I'm still gonna do that, comment on the game as I play it, but I'm gonna tell you exactly how bad the My Career Mode in NBA 2K16 really is. Now the thing is, is that it's not super bad, it's like exactly the same thing as My Career Modes of the past, but instead of, let's just say, kind of going it play by play, season by season, you're, you know, you're creating your own character, you're putting your likeness, your appearance on the guy. You see this guy, he's an ugly motherfucker, he looks like me, but way uglier. So if you get a close-up of him, definitely take a look at how ugly this motherfucker is, because I'm not that ugly, and this ugly motherfucker is not representing the way that I really look like. But I really want him to look like me. But, to fulfill my fantasy, I made him a bit taller. I'm 5'5 five five in real life. This motherfucker is 6'2". So, that's pretty impressive, the way that he just kind of towers over me in real life. But, you know, he plays power forward in this game, something that I would never be able to play in real life if I was even able to play basketball. This pissed me off when I was playing right here, because... If you were paying attention and not paying attention to what I was saying, you would have seen that I had fucking scored that goddamn goal before it, it it went off. Now, they went and they started reviewing this shit, and look at this guy right here. Boom! He says no. No! I, I, I refuse to accept that. I refuse because I had gotten it off before uh, the motherfucking bell went off. I got that shit in. It should have been counted, but it wasn't. You know why? Because... The Chinese have been sexually and racially oppressed for the past 100,000 years, and this is an example of it continuing. How many Chinese people do you see in the NBA? Probably like three. Jeremy Lin, the fake character Peter Chow, and Yao Ming. Nobody else. That's probably not even right, but... Anyway, this is what I'm talking about right here. Ugly as a motherfucker, but I slammed that shit, and I motherfucking don't it. Anyway, without spoiling too much about my career mode, I have to say that if you haven't played it yet, skip the fucking movie directed by Spike Lee. I know it's a huge thing when Spike Lee gets involved with anything, but I feel like this was a learning curve for him. He, was, he wasn't even entirely sure what he wanted to kind of achieve with this story mode, and what he ended up achieving ended up sucking. Because all of it is about drama. All about, it's the whole motherfucking, it, it's a melodrama, and it's something that I could not physically get invested in. First of all, I'm going to tell you exactly how it is. I, I have this best friend. He's really irresponsible, and he's riding my coattails. He's my best friend. He always makes me feel guilty for not getting him as involved as he wants to be involved in my MBK, NBA career mode. So he, he leeches off me. He leeches off my friends. He leeches off my money. He takes my name, and he calls himself an FOF, which means a friend of freaks. So he gets into clubs. He gets girls. He gets kind of... You know, hookups on Tinder and Thrinder or whatever the fuck those dating apps are called, and uses my name to do that. So, and then I had to, I don't know, it's a huge, it's a fucking melodrama, and I did not get into it at all. Spike Lee could have done a much better job with the writing. I feel the writing was just subpar at best. It was not a very good experience for me to get through this my career mode. Actually, it was painful. And the thing is, the whole thing's a downer. It's supposed to be inspirational, it's supposed to be something that really drives home. It ends anticlimactically. I'm not going to tell you how it ends if you haven't played it yet, but judging if you were going to listen to me right now and you're not going to play it because I'm telling you not to play it, you're probably not going to play it because I told you not to play it, you know what I mean? Yeah! I love talking like a black man after I motherfucker watch and play the game that is designed for black people. Anyway, I'm... I'm Back to my normal voice for a second. I have to tell you exactly why I don't like it because the thing is, is that, you know, obviously I'm of Chinese descent. I made the character be Chinese, right? But no matter what, your name is called Frequency Vibrations. I don't know why they call the character Frequency Vibrations, but everybody calls you Freak. It's really fucking annoying. That's not my name. I want people to call me Chow. But they don't call me Chow. They call me Freak because that's my nickname of the game. And that's what Spike Lee wants everybody in the motherfucking game to call me. So that's what they're going to call me. They're calling me Freak. I don't want to be called Freak. I think it's a stupid name. Okay? It's a stupid 
fucking name. I still suck at this game, by the way, as I'm a bench warmer. And that's another inherent issue with the game. They always treat like you're some sort of prodigy. Like you're the next Kobe Bryant or you're the next LeBron James. I'm not the next LeBron James, so stop treating me that way. The GM treats me like that. My agent treats me like that. My sister thinks I'm the next greatest thing in the NBA history. And it ain't accurate. And I'm done with it. More coming. Yeah.